I wanted to do a review for you on some of the uh, C CDC clamps or clips that are out r there right now. This is the original Pettigene uh, CDC clamp. And when it first came out, it had just an O-ring on it. And he found that they were breaking. And so he switched out and put a spring in there. And he would actually send the, out the new springs to you as a replacement. I didn't think there was enough pressure, so I turned around and I made a modification and I add another O-ring. And they come in, these are the normal sizes that they come in. There's one more up, and then there's a little tiny one, and then this is the Magnum version of it. This I like making compound uh, dubbing brushes with it. This here, oh, this is what most of the guys were using at the time. This is the early 2000s. And this is just a plain old bulldog clip, and it worked. I mean, you take two pieces of CDC, you match them up together, you uh, just clip it, and then trim it off, and it worked just fine. This is the uh, stone foe version of it. It's just got a giant spring in the back. It's basically a, another uh, bulldog clip. This here is the Vossler, and it came out, oh, I would say about 10 years ago, and it works pretty good. It's not quite, it's good for CDC. They advertised it for using it on deer hair or elk hair, and I didn't think it worked very well. These are just a knockoff version of a bulldog clip. These ran, these run, you can still buy these for just over five bucks. The one that I'm really impressed with is this Swiss CDC clamp from uh, Swiss CDC. I mean, this thing is just, uh, there's so many advantages to do it that we'll go over that in a bit. Now, they came out, this is the version they've had out for a while now. They came out with a little small, this is about, what, say 30% or 40% smaller. And it's much more nimble. They've changed the, uh, the markings here so you can get a depth on the hair. So this is the newest one that's out that I've that I found. Now, first off, I'm not being paid to do any of this for anybody. I just have given you my opinion and the way that, and showing you the way that I tie with it. Um, I do have my preferences. They all work for CDC. The problem you have is when you start using it to add other kinds of materials. Like I like to make compound dubbing brushes. And what I'll do then is I will mix CDC or a synthetic along with um, deer hair or elk hair. And this, this piece is really good for picking up hair and trimming it off and use, putting it into a loop. Now, you can do the same thing with the Pettigene clip. It works just fine. You're going to need, you should put you need that extra pressure. So I put an extra O-ring. These are like, what, a dime or 10, 30 cents at a hardware store. And it gives it an increased amount of pressure. And then it really holds the hair really well, especially if you've got an uneven amount. Um, with the va with the stone foes, there's just not enough pressure. For CDC, it works just fine. But for anything else to adding other pieces. What's nice about it, it does have that extra, see that little ridge in there? That's that's pretty good. That helps you to put pressure to to increase the amount of picture pressure on one point. But it's not very good at holding deer here. Also, things a couple things you need to look at. Look at the profile of the Pettigene clip versus the profile on the Swiss CDC. You can just see how thin it is and how much easier it is to slip this brush, this uh, clamp or clip into the deer hair versus the Pettigene clip, a little bit wider, harder to do that. With, the, with a bulldog clip, now I've actually done it with this, but that, once again, look at the profile on that piece and then picking up hair on it, it's harder to do it with. The same true is true with this knockoff. Look at look at your profile. I mean, it's really wide, so you don't you can't be as accurate in picking up deer hair with it. it it's fine for CDC once again, but for deer hair, nah, not so much. 
The same problem I had with the Vossler. It's just too thick. It it I, it'll work, and it picks it up. But I it just couldn't be consistent with it. And so I like that's why I like this uh, the Swiss CDC clamp so so much is because for that reason. And now with their new one, you can you can get the same amount of hair every time because of these markings along here. And then also since they've got a gauge along this side, you can decide how long you want those hair to be hairs to be and be consistent about it. Now I just wanted to show you a little quick trick. This is a little plastic uh, platen that I made for myself and I use the magnum on it. What I do is I will pick up hair from either you know deer hair or whatever, elk hair, and feed it into this piece and then I can add so many different colors and materials into it and then create a brush that's three inches at least when you start off three inches wide. I had to once again add another o-ring on it to get the pressure that I want and then I added another o-ring on here to clamp it down. I'm asking them to make one that's like four inches wide so that I can make even a wider compound um, dubbing brush. But you can add multiple materials and and stack them. That that's that was my game with doing this. So, bottom line, they all work for CDC. Can't can't beat there. These work really well because you you and I when we make a CDC collar, it's not very big, and this is sufficient for most of the small flies that we do. And it's nice and nimble and quick. And for CDC, it's perfect. Once again, you see it's got the it's got the little spring wire in there and I've added a rubber band to it so I, I like that extra pressure that it adds to it. Um, but if you're going to use it to add deer hair or elk hair you're going to want something with a lot less profile and this this really works really well for that. This will work but not as well. And forget about something like this, the knockoff piece. This is great for CDC. And for five bucks, six bucks, under six bucks, you can't beat it. But it's just basically a, what's nice is that it's, it's a step above a bulldog clip because it's transparent so you can see how long the hairs go into the, into the jaws. And it, it holds it really well. For CDC, it'll work just fine. But for anything else, forget it. So that's just my little story or little review of the CDC clamps that I have and use. Um, obviously, I got into fly tying in the early 2000s. CDC was really, really coming out. Everybody was getting into CDC. I hung out with Stalk Up and, and, New, and, and Hair Up, and they were really into CDC, using CDC in their flies. Not, for, not just for dry flies, but also for collars on nips and, and such. At the same time, also, it was happening, guys were using uh, UV Not Sense as a coating, and that was the first UV resin that everybody was using. But that shows you in, the, in that early 2000s, there was a lot of new things going on. Anyway, so if you get a chance, take a look at these things and take a look at these different clamps and, you know, buy the clamp that's specific to what you're going to use. You know, if you're, if you're just doing CDC collars, this is just fine. But if you want to get a little more foo-foo and go down along the road, you might take a look at these other ones, especially, I'm going to, they ought to pay me to, to, to promote these, but I love this Swiss CDC clamp. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.